Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the dangers of cholestyramine. So if you're already taking this, yeah, and you already know what it is. If you're not, or maybe you haven't taken it, maybe there's something you're on the fence about. Let me just tell you a little bit about what it is and how it can be beneficial. This is one thing with medication in general is you take medication for a reason. Medication can provide benefits, but there are drawbacks to all medications. This is not medical advice. Obviously talk with your medical doctor. It's tricky being in like a coach. It's hard to talk about medical medicine and things like this, but this is some important information that you need to know because probably no one's going to tell you so i guess that lands on my doorstep so i'm going to tell you so one of the main reasons that we use cholestyramine is as a bile acid sequestrant which means it can help your body remove any fat soluble toxins the place you see this most often used is with mold and biotoxin illness so the way the body removes mycotoxins is it brings them to the liver, it processes them, it packages them up in the bile, and then bile is released into the small intestine. In the small intestine, the correct microbes, they will take the toxin out of your bile and they will form it into your stool and then you will pass stool. And well, the rest is history. Toxin has left your body. The thing is, some people have poor bile flow. Some people don't have the correct microbes in their gut to allow this process to occur where the toxins are taken out of the bile acids and they just reabsorb the toxins over and over again. And this causes significant problems. So this can work really nicely. The way I would prefer to use something like this is stimulating the body to release a large quantity of toxic bile and then to sequester that and hold that and move that out of the body. That's my preferred way of doing it. So this would be like a liver gallbladder flush, coffee enema or something like this. I think this is the best way to use binders, especially gut-based binders. So the thing is, in the muggle world, so in the realms of modern medicine, not alternative or not functional, medicine. The reason that they use cholestyramine, this is also known as Wellcol if you're in the States. So the reason that they use this is, is actually because it lowers your cholesterol. So just as we remove fat soluble toxins from our body through our bile, we also remove cholesterol from our body through our bile. And I mean, you can you can think about this as in your gallbladder not functioning correctly and your bile not flowing is called cholestasis. You can hear chole is from the cholesterol. Your bile is very much made of cholesterol. It's a very big component. So if you are taking cholestyramine or Wellcol for an extended period of time, you're basically stripping your body of its bile. And this has a couple of negative effects. The first is that bile is really expensive to make. It's very costly. It's actually so costly, in fact, that the body will recycle and reuse bile up to nine times. You reabsorb bile acids nine times before they're excreted from the body. So that process of being released into your digestive system to help with fat digestion and to allow the microbes to grab those toxins out of the bile, this happens over and over and over again and your body will reabsorb those bile acids because it's so valuable and when you use cholestyramine you're basically getting one use out of that bile and then it's being removed from your body so you're basically making your liver have to work nine times harder to produce bile and your liver is probably already overworked if symptoms of, of liver problems are things like poor fat digestion poor ability to regulate your emotions you know getting overwhelmed easily getting dysregulated easily just feeling tired all of the time lethargic can be really connected to things like migraines chronic fatigue and chronic pain problems almost always connected to the liver so if your liver is already struggling if it's struggling because it's full of toxins, then yes, we need to get the toxins out. And that's how this is one function of the cholestyramine. It can be helpful for that. But if you're providing your body with this benefit, but then you're actually creating a harm, as in you're stripping all of this bile, that's going to cause some different problems. So we need to try and mitigate these things. Best way to do it is use the cholestyramine, as I described, use it around a, another modality that's triggering a very potent bile release. But what can happen as a consequence? I got couple of things I want to show you. So this is just a, uh, this is the Mayo Clinic. So you've probably heard of the Mayo Clinic before. Um, these are some different names. So this is Questran. This is Prevolite. This includes Wellcol. It's basically, it's cholestyramine. These are just different names. And the main function that they, that they prescribe cholestyramine for is to lower high cholesterol levels in the blood. So I don't want to go through the cholesterol thing today. I have a video on YouTube that talks all about cholesterol. Cholesterol is not bad for you. It's a complete misconception and misunderstanding. And you're going to see a little bit of that today, but I'm not going into the whole cholesterol, heart disease thing. I'm not doing that today, but you can go and check my video. So you can go on YouTube, William Dickinson, cholesterol. It will come up as the first video that will elaborate in more detail. And the reason I'm taking this angle is literally in one day, I have had three separate individuals tell me about the negative impacts of cholestyramine and either they have been aware of this and they have told me themselves or they have elaborated on their situation and we've managed to deduce that the cholestyramine is playing a problem and this is where we have to go so this looks really cool this is 
your the way that your body synthesizes different hormones you know you've got your testosterone down here you've got your cortisol over here you've got your dhea over here you've got your uh, estradiol your estrone your dihydroxy testosterone this is the process that your body uses to make all of your steroid and sex hormones but where i want you to focus is just here where does it all start every single steroid and stress hormone in your body what is it made out of it's made out of cholesterol so if we're constantly stripping this bile from your body we're losing lots of cholesterol and your liver is what makes most of your cholesterol even if you were to eat the most cholesterol rich foods on earth and that's all you ate so all you ate was eggs like egg yolks caviar and fatty fish that's all you were eating that wouldn't even account for a half even a quarter even an eighth of your daily cholesterol requirement your body creates cholesterol because it needs it it needs it to make all of these different things so these individuals that i was speaking with today they're experiencing so they've been using generally cholestyramine to help with this mold detoxification process to help remove this toxic bile however they're presenting with symptoms of adrenal fatigue and the thing is if you don't have enough cholesterol up here, then you're going to have low DHEA, you're going to have low testosterone and low dihydroxytestosterone. This is like a death sentence if you're a man. You're going to feel low levels of confidence. You're going to feel incompetent. You might have erectile dysfunction. You're not going to feel good. You're going to feel like a loser. And it's, it, it really sucks when your testosterone levels are low. If you're a woman or if you're a man, we both have cortisol. This is your primary stress hormone. This is your body's ability to adapt and respond to stress. If you don't have enough cholesterol to make cortisol you're gonna have adrenal fatigue this means you're just gonna have low energy this means you're not gonna adapt to stress well this means you're gonna start storing a lot of body fat your body's gonna hold excess fat if your cortisol levels are high and you're just you're not gonna sleep well you're gonna have insomnia it's just this very negative cascade and it impacts all of these other things you know i'm not a hormone specialist hormones are not my area of expertise but there's literally this is this has every single hormone in it you know you've got your cortisol your cortisone you've got your progesterone over here your pregnenolone um, down here you've got your dhea your testosterone these are all so important and the thing about hormones is they significantly impact how you feel so if your hormones are going wrong you will not feel good and if you don't feel good there's a really good likelihood that your hormones are out of balance and you always have to ask the question is it because my body doesn't have the resources that it needs and if it's missing cholesterol then yes it's missing a really really important ingredient so hopefully you can understand what i'm saying here you can see the problem if you're depleting your body of cholesterol you need it it's the backbone of many important components of your body's function this was just the start to elaborate even further your body needs cholesterol to create vitamin d if you don't have enough cholesterol you can go and sunbathe as much as you want you cannot make vitamin d you need cholesterol to turn sunlight into vitamin d so if your cholesterol levels are low and your body cannot synthesize enough and you're sunbathing and your level your vitamin d levels stay low this might be why your body also uses this as an antioxidant it uses it to repair any damage that you have so if you have slow wound healing if you have chronic inflammation you need cholesterol it's so it's so so important it's also always important to think about hormones and how they connect together because all hormones work together so if this situation is happening something that's very likely to happen as well is you could see symptoms of hyperthyroidism where your hyperthyroidism because when your adrenal glands so these are adrenal glands this is your thyroid if one goes up the other one comes down they're like a pivot they're like a seesaw like this and what usually tends to happen is the adrenals will become overactive and then you begin to develop adrenal fatigue and low thyroid function so gaining weight not having any energy etc etc feeling cold all the time and then it snaps so your body just can't maintain this level of stress hormones and then you get back broken seesaw then you've got low adrenals and low thyroid and what we need to do is we need to rebuild the adrenals back up but then we also need to bring them back into balance which means we need to resolve the original stress that was happening in the first place the thing is this whole process requires cholesterol cholesterol is not the bad guy i don't know how we got so off track i don't know how we've been so misled but if you didn't have cholesterol you would literally die you would be dead before the end of the day cholesterol is so important so always think about this this is cholestyramine in particular but there are always consequences of all different types of medication so always do your research always ask questions and don't settle for less than your best level of health because healing is possible i see it every single day literally every single day i have story i have people messaging me i have people leaving comments on my videos i know what it's like when you're not getting the results that you want and doubting whether you can heal or you've been doing this for such a long time and you still don't feel like you're getting anywhere i get it but i'm just surrounded by it every single day i see it on my facebook i see it on my youtube i see it in my emails i see it in my calls with my clients healing is so possible you just have to figure it out and you will just don't give up if you need any extra help reach out let me know i'll be happy to help take care see you in the next one bye bye